Today, we are testing Firebase Studio, Google's brand new development environment that just launched. This video is for you if you want to build apps with AI quickly and easily in your browser. We're going to learn about features of Firebase Studio and build with it for the first time to see how it works in action. Firebase Studio is a complete cloud-based workspace that helps us create full-stack applications with AI built right in. It is a cloud-based development environment that lives entirely in our browser. Google calls it an agentic environment, which means it has AI assistance built in that can help us throughout the development process. Firebase Studio is designed to help us build and shape applications that can include backends, frontends, mobile components, and AI features. It brings together all the tools we need to develop an app from start to finish. The big idea here is to give us one workspace where we can do everything, write code, test our app, get AI help, and deploy to production without jumping between different tools. One of the most useful features in Firebase Studio is the app prototyping agent. When we open Firebase Studio, we can simply click prototype this app and describe what we want to build. We're not limited to just text descriptions. We can also upload images and even draw sketches of what we want our app to look like. The app prototyping agent takes our input and turns it into a working web app prototype in seconds. Behind the scenes, Firebase Studio automatically sets up GenKit and provides a Gemini API key. So all the AI features work right out of the box and we don't need to worry about setting up authentication or figuring out how to connect to AI services. It's all done for us. The result is the functional code that we can immediately start testing and refining. So we can go from idea to working with prototype in minutes instead of spending hours or days. Once we have the initial prototype, we will want to make changes and improvements. This is where the Gemini in the Firebase chat feature comes in really handy. Instead of diving into code, we chat with Gemini directly with Firebase Studio. We ask it to add user authentication or change the layout to have the navigation on the specific side or add a feature. And Gemini understands our specific code base. It's not giving generic advice. It knows exactly what's in our app and how we can make targeted changes. We can iterate without having to dig through the code ourselves if we don't want to. Gemini understands what we're trying to accomplish and helps us get there faster by making the changes for us. The chat interface is conversational and easy to use, making it really accessible even if you're not an expert coder. You can focus on what you want your app to do and let Gemini handle the technical details of making it happen. AI assistance is great, but sometimes we want to edit the code. Firebase Studio gives us a full-fledged coding workspace whenever we're ready to dive in. The coding environment is familiar if you've used Visual Studio Code. It comes with all the features we expect from an IDE, Gemini helps with code completion, explains what different parts of the code do, it helps debug issues and suggests improvements. We also get full terminal access, so we can run commands just like we would in a local development environment. A really cool feature is the preview on any device. Once we've made changes to our app, we often want to see what it looks like and whether it works. Firebase Studio makes this super easy with the preview feature. So with just one click, we can generate a public URL for the web preview of our app. This lets us see exactly how will it function for users right in our browser. If we are building something for mobile, we can generate a QR code 
that we can scan with our phone to instantly load and test the app on the actual device. This makes it easy to check how the app works on different screen sizes and with touch controls. When the app is ready to share with others, all we need to do is click Publish and Firebase Studio handles the rest. It takes care of building your app, setting a content delivery network, and handling server-side rendering if the app needs it. So this gives us a simple one-click deployment experience that gets our app online quickly. The resulting URL is ready to share with users, clients, or stakeholders. What is really powerful is real-time collaboration. Multiple people can work in the same Firebase Studio environment at the same time, seeing each other's changes as they happen. When we are ready to update the project, we can push those changes instantly. This makes Firebase Studio great for pair programming, code reviews, or situations where we need to quickly show something to a teammate or a client. It removes the friction of sharing code and ensures everyone is looking at the same thing. Now let's see the Firebase Studio in action and let's try to build some apps with it. Here we are in the welcome screen of the Firebase Studio where we have an option to input the description of what we want to build. So in my case, I want to try out a Duolingo style learning app where a user can enter the topic of their choice and learn about it and maybe have a quiz about it. So it starts generating something. It gives us a plan of what it's going to do. From there, we can click prototype the app. The Firebase Studio starts writing code, updating files, generating different scripts. As you can see, it's using TypeScript here. And we're just going to let it work and see what happens. Now it's checking our files for errors. Well, hopefully there is no errors. Looks like it found an error that it auto fixed, which is good. It's, it's great when the agent is discovering the errors and fixing them before the developer runs into them. So it looks like we ran into an issue. Let's see if the Firebase Studio can fix it for us. Fix the issue. Let's see if it figures it out. Oh, it looks like it works. So we can select a topic. Click Generate Lesson. generated the lesson, and it looks like it generated the markdown. Now we can generate a quiz. I'm going to randomly answer the quiz and see what the result looks like. There we go. So it does not show which options are correct versus not. So there is some room for improvement. Let's try asking Firebase Studio for some corrections. I'm going to ask it to correct the lesson format so that it's displayed in a more user-friendly way. And I think we also need to ask to display whether the user's answer is correct or not when they select their choice. It starts applying the changes. Let's see what the result of the update is. The content is now displayed not as a markdown, but as a formatted text. It could have looked prettier, but this is an improvement from the previous step. Let's check if the quiz shows us the correct answers. It shows us if our choice is correct or not. Great.
So as you can see, we can iterate and ask the Firebase Studio to improve the result based on our feedback. Let's try something else, a different type of an application. Let's create a snake game. The Firebase Studio started coming up with a plan for what the game is going to be. We're just going to proceed, click prototype this app, start creating the files, generating the logic, checking for errors. Great, it looks like it generated us a snake game from the first attempt, which is working. We can use the arrow keys and the game is working as expected. Again, we can ask Firebase Studio to improve the user interface or add functionality depending on exactly what we need. But this is a good first try. Let's see what code it generated for us. Let's open the page file. And here we can see that it created some structure for direction, for the entities and how the effects are used. So we can see how the logic is implemented if we wanted to edit any code by ourselves. There's other files that we can explore if we wanted to use the code editor here. Now let's try out a simple to-do list application and see what it comes up with. Generates a blueprint for us. We're going to prototype this application. It is suggesting it's going to have task creation, task display, task management, and intelligent due dates. Let's try it. I think this is my favorite part here that it notices that we need a Gemini API key and it suggests that it can auto generate one. So we don't need to leave this interface to go somewhere else to get the API key for Gemini. So we're going to click auto generate and it's just going to put it in the right place and use it, which is very convenient. It generated our app. So let's try adding a new task. Let's say we need to get some groceries. We're going to put a due date for today. We added a new task. It's in the list. Let's see if we can mark it done. That works. We can add a new task. For example, read 10 books by the end of the month. Now we have two tasks in the list. There we go. We can also edit. For example, change the due date and it does get updated. So it's not bad for the first one shot attempt. Let's try if we can delete those tasks if this functionality works. This is a really nice way to prototype. Now you've seen the Firebase Studio in action and learned all about its features. Whether you are prototyping a new concept or building a production app, Firebase Studio is a good cloud-based way to build applications. The ability to start with natural language descriptions or images, get AI help through development process or deploy it with one click makes development more accessible. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Your reality has changed. You're stuck in your career. You're either using AI or being used. Do you still believe success is guaranteed? You feel it's time to wake up. Old strategies don't work anymore. Welcome to the real world. It will never be the same again. You need to fight for your future. Learn to spot truth from lies. I will help you. Together, we will win. Thank you.